Happy Halloween, everybody. It is the 26th of October and we get a little update. And everybody should know Halloween has always been a very special occasion in the history of AVA. Everybody always has been looking forward to it. And let's see if we can go and look forward to this update that we get today. As I just said, we received an update today. It is 84.34 megabytes big. It is not big, it's not that much, but it is something. Sadly, I have to take away from the start, we don't get Halloween Gallery. My disappointment, I was really hoping for that to come because that was, Halloween Gallery was a very important bit in AVA's history, that was there. Uh, since I can think, every year we had a Halloween gallery update, which is missing. Okay, we got the eBoat Night version, but I don't like eBoat, so go go. I don't care. So first off, we have an arena update. It's a small one, but maybe it could change a bit. So they raised the level to Sergeant First Class instead of Staff Sergeant. Uh, it's level eleven instead of level six. According to the patch notes, this restriction will start after updating your game. So not to the next season. It will start right now, right today for your next arena match. It should be there. We do have one other change in terms of the capsule shop. We got a, a restriction removal, should I say. It was restricted to Staff Sergeant Level 3 before you had to reach Staff Sergeant Level 3 to actually purchase capsules. Now you can do that with any rank. They've removed the restriction according to the patch notes entirely. So even you just start the game, you've got your 100k start money and you can go and buy your capsules, which I think is really good. Nobody has to start ranking until they get to the capsules. I like that. I prefer that. That's a good idea. That was it for the changes. I haven't found anything else so far. But what I can tell you is the Hades pack it is a new pack which will be available after 5 o'clock in the afternoon today in CEST and available until the 12th of November. I'm recording this video in the noon, so I cannot tell you how much it will cost. I would be assuming around 15 to 1800 medals, considering that the other packs contain about three to four skins and cost about 1200, 1300, something like that. And this pack contains five skins and a bonus of 50,000 euros. For the five skins, we have Priest Hades, the Silver Arrow Hades, which I think looks pretty nice, but I don't know, Silver Arrow is like pretty useless. It's it, it hardly ever one hit, so what's the point? Really, what's the point? I don't care. I'm not going to buy it. It's not going to make any sense without doing something to make the Silver Arrow in general better. So, personal preference, I'm just saying. Uh, W18 Hades for the Winchester. M18 is an aid. Folding knife Hades, it's in the name what it is. And like I said, the 50,000 euros as a little bonus. With a new update comes a new capsule. It's called the Event Capsule, costs 500 in-game euros and has 15 total items. One jackpot item, that is the Ignis Scythe. Seven secondary items, that is the Glock or the HD21C Success, the LU08 Jaeger Nadine. You have the Colt SAA Silver Moon, the B92MS, the XZ75 Blackhound, the W18 Arena 2017, and the HD 1911 Argento for the secondaries, pistols. For the nade skins, you have the Golden Egg Baseball M67 Ignite, M67 Beehive, and two knives, which are the Duck Family Food Tray and the Rusty Cookery. Last but not least, as I was saying before, there is a new way of getting titanium, pretty cheap and pretty fast. It's the cheapest way at the moment, besides of being lucky and getting uh, duplicate skins out of AVA and premium boxes, of course. But it's 500 euros for an event capsule. There are no EXP boosters or nothing in there, so it's pretty easy to get something you can sell. It's 100% chance to get something you can sell for titanium. I mean, it's only 5 or 10, but if you pay 500 in-game euros for... 10 titanium, that's like 2 titanium for every 100 euros, which sums up to a total, if you're very lucky, for 100 capsules, you pay 50,000 euros and get 1,000 titanium, in the best case scenario, of course, which is uh, pretty good. I had 300,000, spent 150k about on the capsules, and had like 3,000 titanium, 3,500 titanium in total afterwards, so I made about six or 700 titanium. Uh, one ratio I actually got out was 29 knives, 37 aids, and 34 secondaries, which gave me a total of 640 titanium in a 100 capsules, so that's 50,000 euros spent. So that was actually a pretty good method, I quite like that. So I got my Luger, I got my nade, I could buy all sorts of stuff, which is really expensive, and I've still got 1,080 titanium left after purchasing some more capsules. So if you don't know what to do with your money, go ahead, go to the capsule shop, head on, go just spam, buy 10 capsules, capsules button try not to go for the jackpot because i don't know why 
The Ignis Scythe is a base weapon. Uh, it's not a skin, actually, for, uh, for, for a base weapon. It is the base weapon itself. And base weapons only sell for one titanium. So if you get a jackpot, it's going to be good because you win. But it's not good if you want to go for a titanium. Try not to get the jackpot item. But other than that, just go ahead. Buy as many capsules as you want to. Try to get as much titanium as you want to. Pretty good method I found out. It's pretty easy. I got a lot of stuff and so many duplicates. Just sell them all. It is, it is lucrative. You can go for a lot of titanium. It's actually the cheapest way at the moment in game. I thought it was... Actually Actually worth it because for me I wanted to get more titanium to get me the pistol and the nade skin because I think they look nice and I don't have anything else to spend my euros on so who cares I don't mind I just spent all my money so if you want to go ahead go in the capsule shop get yourself some event capsules and try to get as much as titanium as you can they will be only available for a short period of time until just after Halloween so yeah it's an event capsule that was it for the video today guys I hope you enjoyed I hope you liked the video like I said we will cover every single update as good as we can in the future so stay tuned for that don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you in the next video